Here's a short video on how to use a memory error detector with your C++ programs. Uh, we'll go through a couple of examples. So on the left here, if I just list my directories, I've got a program hello.cc and that's your standard hello world program. And I know there's no not a chance that I'm going to have a memory error here, but I'll use this as a simple example to show what we are expecting of a program when, which has no memory errors. So as I said, we're going to use a program called Valgrind. Now, to run Valgrind, when I do compile this program, I'm going to give the compiler the dash G option that asks the compiler to embed extra debugging information into the compiled executable. Both this That would help both the debugger as well as Valgrind give better, better messages on what's happening. And while this is not important for this particular program because it's so simple, it's best to turn off optimizations. So you can do that by saying dash O, O as in optimizations and zero to indicate I want zero optimizations, and then give it the name of the program that you want to compile that produces the executable a dot out. And, you know, I can run it and it does what we would expect it to do. But notice that I didn't run the memory checker on it. To run the memory check checker, Valgrind, just type in Valgrind, and then what follows Valgrind is how you would normally run your program. So in this case, because my executable is called a.out. I just type that in, that in, and press enter. And what we get is the program starts running, but now Valgrind is monitoring the execution of the program. So it starts with displaying what it's running. So within Valgrind, there's a tool called memcheck, which is a memory error detector. That's the default tool to, that it runs. And it gives you some information of which version of Valgrind you're running, what command you executed, and then the program starts executing. This is the hello world output produced by the program. And what I'm really interested in here is the summary of the results. And in particular, this line, which says that all heap blocks were freed and there's no leaks possible. So great, that's what we are aiming for. No other memory errors and that all heap memory has been freed. Let's clear up the screen. But now let's see what happens if our program does have some sort of memory error. So I have another program here. Uh, I call it printins. And what this program does is it asks the user for an integer, which it stores in count. And then it heap allocates an array with length count. And then it has this loop that goes in and reads count number of integers from the user. Once done, it just prints them out, and that's that. So now let's run this again. Uh, well, let's compile this once again with the dash G so that we de embed debugging information, including line numbers, right? And then no optimizations, even though there isn't likely many optimizations that are gonna happen here. And then the program, which I call printints.cc, compile it, it compiles. I'm going to go to the second video, uh, to the second screen, and run Valgrind here on this executable a.out. Memory checker is running, and the program is now running, and Valgrind is monitoring memory usage. So my program asks me to enter a number of integers. I press 3. <clears throat> that means it must have now heap allocated an array of size length three, and now it's expecting us to type in three values. So 22, 44, 66. And done reading integers, it prints out the output. And what I'm interested in, in is the heap usage. And in particular, notice that it says that I have lost 12 bytes in one block of memory. And there's not really much information other than Valgrind tells us to rerun with dash dash leak check equals full to see more details. So let's do that. Clear the screen. 
I'm going to run val grind once again, this time using the leak check equals full option that the val grind suggested. Press enter. Uh, I messed up somewhere. Yep. Leak check without the equals. Val grind's running. Into input numbers three, we'll do the same example 22, 44, 66. Press enter. Okay. So we still have those 12 bytes lost, but notice above it, we've got some extra information. Uh, let's open this in VI. Let's look at what this is saying. Uh, 12 bytes in one block are definitely lost in loss record one of one, operator new, okay, so we allocated memory and Valmine very helpfully says that that's at line 12. So if you look at line 12 here, I did allocate the array, right? So I allocated the array and it's telling me that you've allocated this array, but you've never deallocated it. And obviously that was done on purpose. I did not. So this is a way to detect when you are not deallocating memory. So let me add a deallocation of this array right here. Save this. Compile this again. Compiled and now run Valgrind with lead check full again. We'll use the same test. So insert three. 22, 44, 66. Uh-oh, I thought we freed that array. Well, the good news is if you look at the bottom, all heap memory has been freed, so that's great. We did deallocate all the heap memory we allocated, but what's with the invalid read of size four? Well, let's look at what this is saying. So just, it's giving us an address of where that invalid read is happening. And more importantly, it's giving us a line number. So line number 18, uh, where we are printing out the array that we just read. I am not allowed to read this. Why? Well, because address this is zero bytes inside a block of size 12 freed. Ah, we are accessing freed memory. Where was this memory freed? Apparently at line 15. And I hope you see what I did here. I deallocated the array, which means that memory is no longer mine to access, yet I'm trying to access that memory. So it looks like I preemptively deleted the array a little too soon. So let's copy this, cut it, and move that delete to where it actually belongs, which is after I have used that array write that, clear this, compile, run, input is three, numbers could be whatever. There we go. We did some heap allocations, but we have freed all heap memory. There's no other memory errors. We're good.